Hi, and welcome to this Leverage Technologies presentation of SAP Business One Version 9 Inventory or Stock Counting. There are a number of enhancements in SAP Business One Version 9, and inventory counting is one of those areas which is of great use to wholesale distribution customers who have a warehouse where, of course, inventory accuracy is of critical importance. So the good news is SAP under version 9 have given us some great tools to assist with that cycle counting. Let's have a look at how we might configure cycle counting and some of the great functions and features available to us. I'm going to start by going to Administration, Setup, Inventory, and what I can see is Inventory Cycles and Cycle Count Determination. Let's click on Inventory Cycles and what I can see is I've got a weekly cycle count set up which would happen on a Wednesday at 11.30 weekly. I've got a quarterly cycle count set up which would be every three months on the first Tuesday of the month starting at 4.30 and I've got an annual cycle count set up. Now the reason to set up three different or multiple different cycle counts is that you might decide to count your A, most expensive, most important items on a more regular basis, for example, once a week, your B items, which are less expensive and less critical to you on a less regular basis, for example, once a month or every six months, and your C items, you might decide to count annually. The great thing about SAP Business One is you can configure the inventory cycles as you wish. You can do daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, or annual counts. In terms of the cycle count determination, I here have three warehouses, my general, my backup, and my consignment. Let's drill down into one of those warehouses. And what I see now is that I've got various printers and items and servers set up for different cycle codes. Some are set up for weekly counts and some for annual. Of course, I could also have quarterly and monthly counts as well. Importantly, I've clicked on the alerts button. This will trigger SAP Business One alerts, which will notify the counter or the warehouse manager, or the person responsible for the count, that a stock take is required. So let's see how this would work. If I'm the manager responsible for the warehouse, I'd go into my messages and alerts overview and what I can see is I have a message saying stock take required 9th of May. I click on the button and I can see now multiple items which require stock taking. Let's click on one particular item, inventory counting. I can see I have 242 of these items in stock. Important functionality, I can decide whether to do a single or a validation count. The difference between the two being that on a validation count, more than one counter will be involved in the process to check between two counters and make sure that we have the right number of items counted. So in this instance, I've clicked on validation, which means I've got two counters involved. One is the manager. The second counter is going to be Sophie. And I can see counter one, counter two columns. I now click on the freeze button. And the reason to do this is that whilst I'm doing the stock take, I don't want stock movements against that item. Let's add that document in. Go back to the document. What I can see now is ready for counting. Counter one and counter two, looking for 242 of those items. I can, of course, go in and I can print the document which will be used to physically do the count. And I have some additional options. I can show the in-warehouse quantity or I can hide the in-warehouse quantity. I can also do the inventory counts for both counters, counter one or counter two. As I click on the button, I see SAP Crystal Reports, it gives me the printout which is required to physically go and do the count. When the count is done, we click on the counted button and we put in the values. At this point in time, counter one and counter two disagree with the values. 
Counter 1 says there are 242 in stock. Counter 2 says there are 245 in stock. And the items therefore show up in red. Counter 2 then goes back and recounts. Realise you had it incorrect. It is in fact 242. Now what you see is that the numbers are correct. The in-stock quantity in SAP Business 1 is 242, as it is for Counter 1 and Counter 2. Of course, I have some options available to me um, as well on this particular in, in inventory counting form. So what we've seen is we've seen the ability to set up cycle counts and cycle count determinations. We've seen the alerts management trigger off the fact that a cycle count was required. Then we physically have gone in, we've allocated two counters to the job, and we have counted that stock. I can, of course, at this point in time, also copy to inventory posting. Let's now have a look at some of the reports that are available to us in terms of that inventory counting process. We'll go to inventory, inventory reports, and inventory counting transactions report. As with most SAP Business One reports, I can filter the report by items or groups of items, by suppliers, or by count dates. Let's just click on the default for now. And there we can see the report, which is the inventory counting transactions report, showing us the items which have been counted, the documents associated with those items, the variances, and the variance percentages. Of course, as with SAP Business One standard functionality, I can drill down to the source transactions. So in summary, what we've seen is the ability to configure the inventory count, conduct the inventory count, and report on it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the presentation. Please don't forget that there's more information available on our website at leveragetech.com.au.